Okay, so let's continue from where we stopped. If today is your first day of watching our video, please click that subscribe button. So I have calculate, calculate the cross product, cross product of two vectors, cross product of two vectors A, which is equal to 4i plus 5j minus 3k, and the B, which is equal to 2i minus 3j plus 4k okay solution so i have that um, a cross b is equal to uh don't forget your matrix plus i minus j plus k right so i have my four five and minus three that's for this one then for this one is going to be two minus three and four okay so we'll now start so this is equal to if you pick plus i if you pick plus i open bracket cover everybody under i and do left minus right so left this time this is what 20 minus now this time this will give you 9 okay then you have minus j i'm picking this one so i'm covering here i'll do left right so left this time this is what 16 minus this time this will give you minus 6 so with this minus you have plus 6 here okay then you are picking plus k you open bracket you are covering here and do your left right this time this is three times uh four times three is twelve so minus twelve minus uh ten okay so my final answer is going to be this and this will give me eleven eleven i uh minus twenty two j then minus twenty two k okay so that is that for that so we'll move to question number number forty eighty two <clears throat> question number 82 question number 82 82 said um, an object an object thrown thrown or released or released into into the into into the space Hmm? It said an object thrown or released into space that travels along a curved path is called uh, projectile motion. So it's called a projectile motion. So no need to write that. So we move to question number 83. Number 83 said the magnitude, the magnitude, the magnitude of a vector vector c which is equal to 4i plus 3j plus 2k okay the magnitude the magnitude of vector c is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 squared so what do we have the magnitude of what 16 plus 9 plus 4 which is the square root of what uh 29 right square root of 29 so get what the square root of 29 is and that is the magnitude so we'll move to question number 80 84 question number 84 said um, a ball a ball moving a ball moving with a velocity of 15 meter per second comma then I say if it's if its velocity decreasing decreasing at the rate of 0 0.5 meter per second square comma then I say what is its velocity after 10 seconds and then how how much how much time will will it take take the ball to stop okay so we have two questions here so the first question said that um, they gave us the initial velocity which is 15 meter per second then they now said we are looking for the final velocity according to them 
we have that the acceleration is negative 0.5 meter per second square. I put this negative because it is retardation. They say it was decreasing, so it is retardation. Okay, so now we know that V, and then they gave us the time as what? 10 sec. So we need that V is equal to what? U plus 80. So my V that I'm looking for is equal to 15 plus minus 0 0.5, then times 10. So which is what? 15 minus 5. 15 minus 5 will give you what? 10 meter per second. So that is that. Now, coming to the second question, the initial velocity, the initial velocity remain 15 meter per second. For the second question, the initial velocity remain that 15 meter per second. But the final velocity there is 0 meter per second. Why? Because they are looking for the time where it will stop. That is why, and if it, and if it stops, the velocity will now be what? 0 meter per second. So the time is what we are looking for. And we know that the acceleration doesn't change. It's still minus 0 0.5 meter per second square because it is retarding. So I still know that my V is equal to U plus what? 80. So my V is 0 is equal to 15 plus minus 0 0.5 times my time. So this one moving here, I have the words 0 0.5 T is equal to 15. So therefore my T, therefore T will now be what? 15 divided by 0 0.5. I think uh, 15 divided by 0 0.5 will give you 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So the, the ball will stop at 30 seconds. Okay. Question number 85. <coughs> so question number 85. Question number 85 says, write down the dimension of moment of inertia. Write... Write down the dimension of moment of inertia. Okay, moment of inertia is equal to, I think, m v m r squared. Yes, m r squared. So my m is mass, r is L2. So that is the dimension of moment of inertia. Go to question number 86. Question number 86 said, um, question number 86 said, a ball, a ball is kicked, is kicked into, into the air at angle 45 degrees to the horizontal, to the horizontal with a velocity with a velocity of 30 meter per second and i say calculate the time the time it calculate the time it takes calculate the time it takes to reach to reach the maximum height Okay, solution. So the time it will take it to read the maximum height. So we know that um, time to read the maximum height has a formula. I say the u sine squared uh, u sine theta over g. So my t is equal to what u sine theta over g. So my u is thirty sine my theta is thirty again all over what ten my g which is what uh, thirty times zero point five over ten which is a uh, 15 divided by 1.5 seconds. Okay. So that is that. Huh? Okay, sorry. Why am I saying 45? This is 45. My theta is 45 degrees. My U is equal to 30 meter per second. So uh, here I'm going to have... Um, so this is 30 times root 2 over 2, then divided by 10, which is what? Uh, 0 can cancel 0. So I have 3 over 2 root 2 in seconds. So you can just press your own and get your own answer in this map point. Okay. So question number 87 said, the inverse of time taken to complete one circle of oscillation in simple harmonic motion is called the frequency. It's called the frequency. So, question number 88. <coughs> question number 88. 
Question number eight said, said the period, the period of oscillation, the period of oscillation of a particle, of a particle, is a good thing, simple harmonic motion is four pi sec. Okay, then I say if the amplitude, if the amplitude of oscillation, oscillation is 3.0 cm, then I say calculate the, the maximum, the maximum speed of the particle. Okay, calculate the maximum speed of the particle. So I know that uh, my velocity, which is speed, is velocity is equal to what? Angular velocity uh, radius. Angular velocity radius. Okay? So uh, because we know that angular velocity is equal to what? Linear velocity over R. Okay? So my R is the amplitude. My R is the amplitude. So let's get, uh, they say that a period, uh, okay, what happened to the time? The time is the, the problem here. So what happened to the time? Uh, but I know that my uh, angular velocity of V is equal to my converting this to time is what? 2 pi over T. Okay, that is formula for angular velocity 2 pi over T, then my R. So let me now put everyone. So my V is equal to what? 2 pi over. My time they gave us, the time they gave us is 4 pi sec. So if I put 4 pi here, then my amplitude is my R. My R is 3.0 cm, which is what? 0 0.03 meters. Okay. So times 0 0.03. So this take care of this. I'm going to have 2 times 0 0.03, then divided by uh, 4. Okay, so do that. And 0 0.03 divided by 2. So I have 0 0.015 in meter per second. So that is that. Very, very simple. So we move to question number 89. Right, question number 89. Question number 89 said two vectors, two vectors has okay, have values, values a, which is equal to 2i plus 5j minus 3k, and b, which is equal to 3i minus j plus 2k. Let's say calculate their dot product calculate their dot product so solution so a dot b simply means 2i plus 5j minus 3k dot 3i minus j plus 2k so in dot product we are interested in only the magnitude we are not interested in the direction so 3 times 2 6 5 times minus 1 minus 5 minus 3 times 2 minus 6 so this and this is gone I'm left with minus five as my solution. Okay, so we move to question number uh, ninety. So question number ninety. Question number ninety said. Um, okay. Question number ninety said a body. A body is projected. A body is projected from from the ground from the ground at an angle theta to the horizontal with velocity of 40 meter per second now say it it's reached it reached a maximum maximum height of 11.25 meters after two minutes then you say calculate the value of theta okay so uh we know that the formula for maximum height maximum solution formula for maximum height is equal to what u squared sine squared theta 
over 2g right u square sine square root over so let us put everybody the maximum height they gave me they gave me that my maximum height is equal to where is it 11.25 they gave me that my time is equal to two minutes which is what two times 60 which is 120 seconds okay they gave me my u is um, 40 meter per second so let's put everybody so 11.25 is equal to what 40 squared then sine squared theta all over what two times 10 so i'm going to have um, that sine squared theta will now be what 11.25 times 2 times 10 now divided by 40 squared so permit me to finish here so i have that what sine squared theta is equal to so if you do everything there if you do everything here you're going to have um, um 0 0.1 140 uh, 6, 625 so therefore my sine theta will now be what the square root of 0 0.140625 so therefore my sine theta will now be equal to 0 0.375 so my theta will now be the sine inverse of that 0 0.375 so press it with your calculator to get your last answer to get your theta so that is that so thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe bye bye